both the simple and both the wise to read. But that that was left over was given unto who? The wise of Israel, that special selection. Read up. For as much as ye manifestedly declared to be the epistles of Christ. <coughs> the what? Epistles of Christ. Being manifestly declared the epistle of Christ. So this is the manifestation. You seeking for a sign. What the scripture say, they will still say, lo here and lo there. That's what you looking for, a sign. You looking for spiritual power. Niggas want fireballs and damn laser beam cannons. Show me the apostle that woke up and healed the sick with fireballs and laser beam cannons, damn it. Show me them. You niggas looking for spaceship from Walt Disney. That's what you looking for, man. He said they shall receive no. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Call the law, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar. From the prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida, and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole folks scattered abroad. Boy, boy, boy. This is the guy, Bishop Melchizedek, you know, one of the members of the ministers of the new covenant, as they proclaim themselves to be. And this guy has said this many a times before, but this time I, I, I actually caught it. Where he, you know, pretty much they, they don't believe in the spiritual power. They don't believe in the chariots. You know, they don't believe in the miracles of Yahweh Shai. Which really, you you know, you don't believe in the Bible, man. Okay, you don't believe in the Bible. You don't believe in the works that the Lord did. And you're, and really, you're just doing your own thing. And this is going to cause a lot of guys like this in the spirit to ultimately be destroyed, man. Okay? To ultimately be destroyed. Let's bring that back. Isaiah chapter 8, verse two twenty. 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this to, to this word. So when we go out there and teach people to speak of the law, establishing the law. Okay, and the testimony, which we, we, what's the testimony? We'll grab that. It says because there is no light in them. Okay. Now let's go to the testimony. Okay. Because a huge part of this truth is prophecy, man. Okay. It's prophecy. Let's go to Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. It says, And I fell to worship at his feet, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which they say Christ and Jesus, which is, you know, you, you, hey, you ain't supposed to make mention of another God, man. All right. It says, Who, who worship the Most High? For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So chariots coming, okay, which they call UFOs. He said spaceships. You look for spaceships. And not the Lord say you're going to come with, um, with a whirlwind. Let's grab that. Then he, then he says some about the, um, he says some uh, 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 about the spiritual power. Okay. We're showing you these guys air not knowing the scriptures. They just run their mouth. This guy's out there hooting like a damn a damn uh, a, a, a damn howling monkey on the side of the street you know and really have no understanding man it says isaiah chapter 66 verse 15 for behold yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire so they talking about we looking for for for, 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 for uh, spaceships yeah the lord c c coming in a so-called spaceship they're called chariots in the Bible. Do you believe that? Apparently not. They don't believe in the chariots. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 13. Behold, he shall come as he shall come up as clouds and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us for we are spoiled. You see, so it all goes back to those chariots, man, and that spiritual power, which if you don't believe in that, it's because the Lord is not dealing with you, man. And ultimately, a lot of these guys are going to be destroyed, man. Or a lot of these guys are going to be destroyed. Let me try Sign, to some except more. the prophet of Jonas, which was the preaching of the gospel. Read us. Look at this guy. Written not in He's ink, totally written not lost. in ink, but in what? But with the spirit. But with the what? The, the spirit. spirit. When your I died, we received what? The comforter, which was the Rakah Hakadash, the Holy Spirit. 
So the man that he touched, he really These guys just rambling, and these guys don't know. The spirit of the living God. The what? The spirit of the living God. So those he set a seal upon, the mark upon, became he living, don't be there. just like the living think God. Think about going now. home and Read. eating Cheetos on the couch, man. Not in tables of stone. Again, not in tables of stone, according to the old letter. But what? But in the fleshly tables of the heart. The what? Of the, the heart. heart. The fleshly tables of the heart. Ooh. Give me second edges. And, and, and this is this is this is sadness of it, man. Give me second edges chapter eight, verse let's one. Let's go, let's go. Second edges chapter eight, hey, verse you, one. You'll be lucky to get a four. And we're gonna go video. back. Go give you give me uh, Isaiah uh, 65 uh, uh, and camp. eight. We're gonna get straight to the point, man. I'm not gonna teach you knuckleheads, man. He said And I was in the second covenant. You won't have you won't have, you won't have to teach. Okay, scripture says that, oh, every man should not have to not, should not have to teach his neighbor. Roughly paraphrasing. So these guys are just a loss. But I got a few scriptures right here, man. And these guys in particular, I know these guys personally, man. This guy right here, his name is Bishop Melchizedek. I, 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 I've known this man for, you know, a few years. He's always been a bug out since I've known him. This guy right here was actually um, over me in the last camp that I was in. And we ended up leaving that camp because they didn't want to go into the prophecy. It was all about, you know, man pleasing and shit, you know, which, which nothing has changed. OK, so we had to get from, get from around those guys. When I was in that camp, this guy was just, uh, you know, a damn, a, a damn, um, a window shopping Israelite, you know, and then he would just cook, you no, know, pass by, say shalom every now and then, but he would, he didn't take it seriously. But now all of a sudden they think that they, they uh, you know, come with some new doctrine, some new spirit. So let's, let, 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 let's, uh, said, cast not pearls before swine. I'm going to get his gospel to the men and children and women that he told to receive it. Bring it up. Isaiah 65, verse 8. I'll Speak bring it up. out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 8. Please. Thus saith the Lord, <laughs> as the new wine is it's, formed. It's fine. Keep reading. Give me some and one saith, destroy it not. Do what? Destroy, destroy it not. He said, don't destroy it. But what? For I, for a blessing a is what? in it. A what is in it? For a blessing. It's a bunch of bullshit in this video, man. None of it made sense. It's a bunch of contradictory. He's using scriptures for what scriptures, what scriptures don't mean. And he just adding scriptures because, because a certain word may sound like he may say a certain word and grab a scripture with the same word in it, but the scripture don't mean that. You know, it's just a bunch of foolishness, man. So I commented. I said, simple as hell. Nigga talking about fireballs. Boy, y'all slow. Did Elijah not call fire from heaven and it literally consumed over 50 men? Not to mention all the miracles the Lord and prophets did. Y'all err not knowing the scriptures. Second Kings chapter one, verse 10. And Elijah answered and said to this captain of 50, if I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. So Bishop Melchizedek don't believe that a man of a man of Yahweh Yahushai can call fire from heaven. See my spiritual power. He's talking about spaceships. That, that sounds far fetched to, to a nigga, man. Okay, let me grab that. Oh, well, 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 well let's go here. <laughs> because Jake can't understand. They can't understand this Bible, man. This is John chapter 3, verse, and I'm, and I'm going to go back to that. But John chapter 3, verse, um, I'll go right to the point. Verse 12, if I have told the earthly things. And you believe not. How shall I? How shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Okay, so so these men they can't understand these earthly things. Something as simple as uh, the things that we see on the earth. How you gonna understand the spiritual things, man? Okay, let me, let's go here too. Cause Jake always talk about somebody carnal, somebody carnal. Why well, you carnal, man? You can't even understand the scriptures. It says Second Peter chapter two verse twelve. But these as natural brute beasts, you see, these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. So they don't understand certain things because because they're not spiritual. OK, they're natural brute beasts. That's why he said that about the chariots and, and the spaceships. That sounds so benign to him. That sounds so ridiculous because he's not a spiritual man. And this is why he's going off and, and trying try to change the, 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 the gospel into this whole we in a new covenant thing. Like, come on, dude, just fucking drop it already. All right. But he not, you know, the scripture says a deceiver and, this, and the deceiver both his. It also says, let them alone and be blind leaders of the blind. So whoever follow these guys, we understand that 
what they're doing is all the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And the Lord wants guys to get blinded. The God, Lord wants guys to fall off, you know, and be destroyed. Because the Lord ain't coming to save everybody, man. The true God of the Bible. He ain't coming to save everybody. Shalakia and he and all of. Let's make it back to the comments. Shalakia. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to watch this again. So it says, Second Kings chapter one verse ten, and Elijah answered and said to the captain of fifty, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him with his fifty. Okay, so did not now it says. Let me just keep on reading. It says, um, so then we go to Revelation 11 and, thir and 3. It says, and I will give and I will give power unto my two witnesses. The Lord is going to literally give power unto his two witnesses, which is symbolic for, you know, the, um, you know, well, right now, symbolic for the, 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 the southern and northern kingdom. OK, the elect. It says, and they shall prophesy a thousand and two thousand. A thousand, two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the most high of the, of the like before the power of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. If any man will hurt them, they must in this manner be killed. You see, so this is talking about men actually getting killed. Okay. By what? Spiritual power. It says, These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, which uh, Moses did that. You see? It says, And to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And Moses did that. Okay, so you have Elijah and Moses that did these miracles that this guy said that no man can do, or no man did. John chapter 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me and the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So when Yahweh was, you know, taken up, he went unto the Father. He, he, he's sitting on the right hand side of the Father right now, and he said, these works that I do, ye shall do in greater. Okay, if you believed on him. So these got individuals showing themselves to not believe in Yahweh Shai. It says, just prove you don't believe in the Bible, Yahweh Shai, and the works that he did. No wonder you hate his men so much. And then them zombies with you just going along. Pathetic. Yeah, because these guys don't, don't really understand what the hell going on, man. You saw this guy. He was in fucking La La Land. Thinking about them cartoons or something. This is, um, it says, tell me, t tell me you're a Christian without telling me you're a Christian. Y'all lost as fuck. Yahweh Shai is a sacrifice. We make our bodies a living sacrifice daily. The elect will be diligent. Are you? Nope. Very simple. But the spirit ain't dealing with y'all because this guy said, oh, yeah. Um, uh, he's trying to see he's trying to make a point of where is your sacrifice. If we're in this, if we're in the old covenant, which we know we're, not, we're, we're under grace, man. The Lord said grow in the grace thereof. OK, we have we have this grace period to, to, to get things right. All right. And if we was under uh, the, the first covenant. Without Yahweh Shai, we, 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 we would be dead already. Yahweh Shai came, and he was the ultimate sacrifice, Bishop. Yahweh Shai was the ultimate sacrifice. But also with that, we make our bodies a living sacrifice daily by doing these shows and these works, man. And that's what the elect would be doing. Not just pro, be, pro, proudly professing themselves to be the elect, but they will be doing it in uh, works, man. It says, Romans chapter 12, verse 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the most high that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service Elakio. that's our reasonable service man okay it says second peter chapter 1 verse 10 wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure he said how oh, we don't gotta say we, we we don't gotta hope we don't gotta hope well what is hope if you know, well, well, um, it's like, yeah, what is faith? Okay. It says, uh, let me grab that real quick. So I'll end off with that. Because these guys don't understand the scriptures, man. You err not knowing the scriptures and all that 
all all that all that all that shows is that really it, and this is this this is something to you know to to, to examine and fear the lord man because the lord can put his demon on you you know but it says uh second peter chapter 1 verse 10 wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if ye do these things ye shall never fail it's a lot of, man that's satan but 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 if you do these things you shall not you shall never fail but is everybody going to do go doing these things according to the spirit nope bishop do a video once or twice a, a damn week man you know because he got better things to do because he already he already know he's he the elect well, 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 let's grab this. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This guy said, that, Oh, yeah, we know we the elect. We know we the elect. Then, you, then, 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 where's your faith? What's the point? What's the point of faith? You just know you the elect. What's the point of faith, man? Okay, scripture says we are prisoners of hope. Okay, it says, And now faith is the substance of things hoped for. That's, that's our faith, is that we. You know, can can be can be that 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 elect the, the hopeful elect. Okay, it's the things of things hoped for. To hope in something, you have to believe. It says the evidence of things not seen, because we don't yet see if that, that we are the elect. we have not yet been crowned, so we can't boldly profess ourselves to be the elect. This is the spirit of a man that is just too far gone and is going to be destroyed, man. All right, and if you you know following these guys, you better get from around them. You better stop watching them, or you know keep on watching them. You know. We we gonna see, all right. So with that being said, I'm gonna say shalom. I'm calling Sharala up, 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 up. Praise to the Lord for the Lord. Shalom.